20. Last time we had seen Cassegrain Linux first theorem. Now we are going to look at Cassegrain Linux second theorem. So I am not going to give the definition of Cassegrain Linux second theorem. We will look at the uh, derivation of Cassegrain Linux second theorem. So here, uh, similar to Cassegrain Linux first theorem, we have a body which is uh, on which we have applied many forces uh, p1, p2, p3, etc., and pn. This can be forces or moments, uh, torques, anything that we want. So due to these loads, um, it, it'll have uh, displacements. So displacements are represented by the corresponding numbers, so delta one, delta two, etc. So uh, under these loads, the body is under equilibrium. Um, so it is under a stable equilibrium. So these are loads. From here, loads. And so you can see the displacements the fifths of displacements. Etc. So suppose we apply a, a virtual displacement, we, uh, we consider a, a, a virtual displacement. That is, suppose that we have displacement delta n, and suppose uh, we increase this displacement by a quantity d delta n. So d delta n is the uh, virtual displacement, so the net displacement is delta n plus d delta n. So obviously, uh, suppose that these forces don't have any components in the direction of that load. Now this one, these forces don't have any components in the direction of the load, thus they don't contribute to the work. And the only uh, the only load that contributes to the additional work done is Pn. The only thing that contributes is Pn. So the net work or increase in work done is given by Pn d delta. So we we have a displacement d real time. For this displacement, we need a small work or small load, which is given by dpn. So we apply a small load dpn, which causes a small displacement d real time. So the net um, energy, or the increase in energy is pn d real time. Time. This is the increase in energy due to the virtual displacement and the virtual load that has caused this displacement. So, by uh, similar to what we have written for Cassegrain-Lewis first theorem, we can write the increased energy, uh, increase in energy or the final energy uh, in terms of the displacements because the displacement is a key quantity here. So uh, this is the final display, final energy of the system, similar to what we have seen uh, earlier. This can similar to um, what we have observed. That is, this is the original energy, and this is the increase in energy. So as we have two very small quantities, we can neglect it when compared to these two quantities. So we neglect them, we equate them, and after equating, we get something like this, that is do u by dou delta n is equal to p. So what this means is, if we, uh, where u is the strain energy, if, so if we find the strain energy of a body, and if we want to find what load causes a particular deflection that is delta n is a deflection so we want to know what load is causing this deflection then we just have to find strain energy and differentiate with respect to displacement then we will get the load which causes that displacement so that's what is the crux of Cassegrain's second theorem